Hello everyone. In this presentation, I am going to present our work, which is called FIRE, and it stands for Food Image to Recipe Generation. In this presentation, we explore the profound link between food and identity, where culinary choices shape cultural belongings and express individuality, fostering social connections. The impact of this connection is magnified on social media with billions of posts having the hashtags such as foodie or food, which underscores the food societal significance. Additionally, we delve into the exciting realm of ambitious food computing, a cutting edge field that merges computer vision and natural language processing. The goal of this study is to prepare a multimodal approach to extract recipe from a given food image. Further, we want to explore the capabilities of large language models in the domain of food computing. Here in this particular image, you can see that uh, we have an input food image and we can extract title, ingredients, and cooking instruction for that particular food image. So uh, we have these three specific contributions in our paper. First of all, we have used Vision Transformer to get uh, image embeddings, and then those image embeddings are fed to attention-based decoder to extract the ingredients from the recipe. Further, we have used state-of-the-art model like Blip to extract the recipe titles and T5, which uses the titles and ingredients to generate cooking instructions. Further, we showcase the ability of FIRE to support two novel food computing applications, which are recipe customization and recipe to machine code generation. In these two applications, we have used few short prompting using large language models. So this is the entire pipeline of our proposed approach. So first we have input image and then we pass it to a fine-tuned blip model, which is fine-tuned on 10% of the recipe 1M data set to extract the title. Further, we uh, use VIT to extract the image features and then pass it to an attention-based decoder. And then we have final ingredients. And once we have title and ingredients, then we use T5 to uh, get the cooking instructions. So this is uh, the T5 model. So in the input, we have the title and ingredients and ingredients with quantity. And then we pass it to T5 and we have cooking instructions. Please note that during the test time, we do not have this ingredient with quantity and still the model performs uh, better. So this is the experimentation setup. We have used recipe 1M dataset for our evaluation. And for the baselines in terms of ingredient extraction, we have used two retrieval based approaches and then FFTD and inverse cooking. And for the cooking instruction generation, we have used inverse cooking and chef transformer. And for ingredient extraction, we have used IOU and F1 score as a metric and Secreblue and rug L for cooking instruction generation. So these are the end-to-end -end, uh, scores. So these are the two current models that we had, like chef transformer and inverse cooking. And these are the four variations of fire. The first variation is uh, fire uh, without the cardinality loss that we have in the ingredient generation pipeline, and fire which contains a ResNet in place of VIT and Fire, this is our original fire, and this is fire plus, which represents that this particular model is tested using ground truth title and ingredients. Please note that the chef transformer here, it does not take an image as an input. It just takes a set of ingredients and predict the recipe. Further, we perform three ablation studies. First is based on the ingredient extraction. So here we can see that FIRE outperforms other uh, existing model in terms of ingredient extraction. And in terms of feature extraction, we have replaced VIT with other state-of-the-art CNN model and we, VIT outperformed the rest of them. And we also uh, check the zero shot versus fine-tuned performance of the two state-of-the-art models that we were using, which is BLIP and T5. And here you can see that fine tuning these two models uh, impacted the model performance in 
a positive way. So this is the case study that uh, I want to share with you. So in our study, Fire consistently produces accurate recipe for dishes similar to those which are found in recipe one and data set. However, when applied to pav bhaji, a popular dish uh, in India, and th that particular dish is not present in recipe one and data set, so it yielded irre irrelevant results. Conventional metrics like sacred blue and rug, they provided inadequate results in uh, capturing the accuracy of generated recipe. And they are also not able to find uh, certain text hallucinations. So now we talk about the applications of fire. The first one is recipe customization. So once we have an output from the fire, which is a recipe, and then we pass it to an LLM with certain prompt. So for example, in this particular recipe, uh, suppose I don't like potatoes and I want to add some cheese it to it. So I will add this particular prompt and this recipe, and then I will have this particular output. Here you can see that these two things containing potatoes have been removed and the cheese thing um, is added. And the second is recipe to code generation. So once I have my recipe, I pass it to my large language model and convert it to a code type format. Further, that code is passed to LLM again, and we convert this into uh, a symbolic format, which is in this format. And then we visualize it in the form of a graph to like understand the process better. So uh, we use LLMs to all LLM for these two applications. Further, we uh, analyzed our experimentation based on some human evaluation. So we conducted human evaluation with seven experts involving 10 recipes and their customizations. And in both of these, we have used some scaling like uh, for customization, we use a scale from zero to four, where zero says they strongly disagree, and four says strongly agree based on these four parameters. Similarly, in terms of machine code generation, we have uh, set these fields like how well ingredients, cooking instruction, and their descriptions are translated to code format, and we put a scale from zero to five. And then we check the inter annotator agreement using Flies Kappa, and we got a high score from 0.78 to 0.92 percent in customization and above 75 percent in a recipe to machine code generation. So for the future work, uh, we have these three things in mind. First is the conventional metrics. They are insufficient to capture the language grounding. So we should develop a metric that will capture the coherence and plausibility of generated recipes. The diversity and availability of recipes are heavily dependent on the locations, climate, religion, which prevent users from preparing food based on predefined recipes. So in that case, we can use some knowledge graph, which can inform the model that there could be some alternative ingredients for a particular recipe. Lastly, uh, hallucination remains a critical challenge in recipe generation by natural language and vision model. So we can incorporate methods for state tracking of participants to enhance the production of reasonable and accurate results. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions or queries, you can reach out to me on my email or this is my LinkedIn QR code. Thank you very much.